Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly reading for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the week of oh, <laughs> for the week of April first through the seventh. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so so much. I appreciate everyone's feedback as well on deciding on whether or not to bring back the weekly reading. So they are back. I would love some feedback. Give me some thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe so that I can continue bringing you the weeklies. If you're not following me over on Instagram, I am at Virgo Angel Tarot. And let's tap into your weekly energy. The Magician card is your major arcana. You've got the Five of Wands, the Knight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. You've got, um, you know, two eights here. Now, April 1st, Mercury goes retrograde. We are in eclipse season at this time. If you haven't caught your eclipse season reading, I will link it up here in your playlist and as always at the end of the reading. But I do feel like uh, with this intense energy, I feel like if there's any type of conflict in your life, especially if there's like money conflicts, financial, you know, um, conflicts within your home life, stability, partnerships. Um, it just feels as though there is some movement that will be had. Uh, it's feeling like more so in, in your business, in your career, there are changes. Oh, I heard there are changes coming because of challenges that you've been having recently. And I feel like it's reached the, reached the, peak right like what's done is done I'm done I'm not playing I'm not like I feel like someone here is just like not playing anymore you've drawn the line in the sand you know as above so below you're just in this energy of what I say goes um and I'm feeling more so like you're taking back control of your life you're making better changes better choices uh for your current situation. I'm hearing the dynamic is changing. So if you have like a team that you work on or that you work with or, you know, fellow coworkers, I'm hearing the dynamic is changing. So people that I guess you would consider to be like key players are no longer going to be key players. Okay. So expect some people to leave or be left, <laughs> uh, you know, people to leave up and quit, transfer, move, promote, whatever it may be. But I do feel like your surroundings in the workplace are changing. Things are shifting around for you, especially if there's a lot of conflict in the workplace. I'm getting that very, very strongly. I feel like you're very committed to making the changes and being successful and, you know, if anything, spirit is telling me that there's a part of you that keeps wanting to check for results. Like you take a few steps. Are we there yet? Have I made my goals yet? Are we successful yet? Like you keep double checking. Now, it's good to keep point, you know, on what works, what doesn't work and just keeping track of, you know, what's worth your time, what's worth to, you know, continue doing. Um, what will align you to the path of success that you're hoping for, that you're working towards. But if you do it every few steps or every couple of days or however it is that you're doing, I feel like there, it, it brings in this sense of doubt and fear that nothing is working. Um, some things just need a little bit more time or I'm hearing the word finessing. So it could be a specific clientele that you are trying to attract. There's just a little bit more finessing there, right? Especially if you are like on social media or you have a social media presence or a public presence. Um, I feel like, you know, don't take it personal. Give it some time. You know, even the most successful businesses are not born overnight. There's a lot of hard work and behind the scenes that many people don't know about, many people don't see. And for some of you, this is your time in the behind the scenes, okay? So I do love that you have the Magician card here. Very strong Major Arcana for this week ahead. So it really does tell me that if it is a new job, a new um, 
yeah, a new job or new career, changes in the workplace, uh, putting yourself out there to make more money, maybe getting um, a side, hu- you know, creating a side hustle, maybe getting a second job. Uh, you know, I'm hearing someone here is um, updating like their CV, their resume, way to put themselves out there, you know, and um I'm hearing you're dialing it up a whole lot more. So you could have someone that's really helping you and guiding you on how to really use certain keywords uh, that will make you a more attractive candidate, okay? Whether you're using um, like AI or ChatGBT or whatever it may be. And look at that, a card flew out as I said that. What card is that? Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, communication and how you say things and, you know, are you using the right words? Again, I was talking about like keywords and making sure that what you put out there is attractive enough for, I'm hearing the big fish you're trying to reel in, whether you want to be the big fish that they reel in and pay you big bucks or you are trying to reel in a big fish client, right? Right. I do feel like there will be some networking. I Again, Spirit keeps giving me the word finesse, okay? So um, maybe the company's name is Finesse or maybe that's your name. I don't know. But it, it just, I keep hearing like, you know, finessing, massaging, you know, working, networking, really creating and molding what it is that you truly want. With the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands here, you know, you will be receiving communication, especially if you have been wondering if all the work that you've been putting out there, if people are taking notice. I feel like you'll be getting some positive feedback here. And not all of it's going to be positive, but the majority will. So it's important that you don't harp on like the minute details or the one, you know, constructive criticism that comes off as like a backhanded comment or compliment or whatever, right? Five of wands. It can either be you not getting along with others or, you know, things not working out in your favor, stumbling because this is like a practice run for you. It's like knowing you have all the tools of the trade, but stumbling to get there and then trying to rush to get to the results. Take your time. It's okay. I know some of you are thinking like, I don't have time. If you're on deadline, I get it. But don't skip any major steps. But the, Because that's going to get you to this. I did all this work, this energy of I did all this work and I feel like things didn't work out or pan out the way I had anticipated. Six of Pentacles. Listen, with your hard work, with your determination, with, you know, proper... I, I'm hearing... It's very important for you to really understand the gifts, skills, abilities, the time that certain things take and proper planning with it. Does it mean it's going to take a long time? No, but it does know. It does. It does. It is for you to know. Sorry, I'm stumbling on my words here. Mercury retrograde. Um, it is important for you to know how to be at your most productive within the amount of time that you have, your timeline, with the tools, the skills, the gifts, the connections, everything that you have at your disposal. Remember to use what you have, okay? And so if this is something new that you're embarking on and you're a little nervous, a little scared, you're wondering and you're not seeing immediate results, you're not getting a call back, you're not getting, you know, a response that you had hoped. Maybe some people are like, oh, 24 to 48 hours, you'll get a response or whatever it may be. Maybe for some of you, it's a loan, right? I'm hearing small business loan for some of you. Um, you're hoping to get funded pretty quickly. Um, it doesn't mean you're not going to. There just may be some clarification that needs to come your way, right? So you may get like this return of clarifying or you're missing some information don't get discouraged. It will get funded very quickly soon after you get the last few details coming through. That just came through very, very clearly. Any other messages for Pisces here before we move on to the Moonology Oracle? Ooh, beautiful with the World card and Eight of Swords. There you are again. Now you've got 888 and the Ace of Cups. All right. 
For some of you, I feel like if your business, your your finances, your career, uh, they may be progressing at a better rate than your love life is what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing and take this how it resonates, but I do feel that some of you are just trying to push the envelope in a specific connection or relationship like you are just like I can't keep tap dancing around this do you or don't you love me do you or don't you want to have a long-term connection is the spark still there is the love still there is this worth even putting time energy effort into it I feel like you already know the answer to that Pisces you're hoping for love right and I feel that the person that you're hoping it works out with is not the one for you, okay? It just feels like either it's bad timing or they're not the one and you don't want to see it because you really want them to be the one or you really want this to start, you know, for them to pursue you, I, I'm hearing, for them to pursue you even harder is how I'm hearing it, right? So I do feel like there is this end of a cycle when it comes to love, Um you're kind of ignoring it. I feel like, you know, this is like almost to the point of being dead, done and over with, but there's a part of you that's just kind of avoiding the important conversations or the actual conversation of, yeah, this is going nowhere. I'm breaking up. I'm seeing other people. Um, it, it's that like, if, if I don't see it, if I don't hear it, then it's not true. Right. So don't live in denial. Pisces, you're doing yourself a disservice. Um, you know, accept things for what they are and don't hold yourself back. If what you want is not being given to you by the person that you are committed to at this time or that you are giving so much of your time, energy, effort and just giving of yourself, then is it worth sacrificing? I mean, I'm just pretty cutthroat when it comes to stuff like that. Not, no offense, but like, I'm just pretty like blunt and matter of fact, like, yeah, not worth my time. And I know not everyone is like that, but you know, I, I just always view it this way. Is this harming me or hurting me? Right? So is this harming you or hurting you? Moonology card for your Mercury retrograde energy, eclipse energy. And if I didn't say this is for April 1st through the 7th, sorry, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things here with the weekly readings, but it will apply to you whenever you watch this. This is These are just the dates of when I am reading for. Also, April 8th, the following week, that Monday, is the new moon solar eclipse in Aries. So very intense. Uh, oh, I just heard spirit say very intense conclusion to something that you've been waiting for. Okay, so let's see what this moonology has for you. And I told you adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. I literally just said that to you is that you have to really put yourself in a position to ask, is this worth sacrificing? Where do you need to compromise with yourself or with others? You know, are you sacrificing any part of yourself just to hold on to someone, even if they are not fulfilling what you need, want, desire, and then some, okay? So adjustments are required. Now, in terms of business, because this did come through when it comes to work and business, remember what I said, small business loan or any type of funding loan that you are looking towards, because for some of you, it could be car, it could be, um, you know, new home, um, adjustments are required. Remember what I said. Oh, and if you're getting audited, don't sweat it. You're going to be okay. I heard that very clearly. There is just like a formality of a form that you'll need to fill out. And even though you probably haven't changed much in your tax returns, okay, when you do your taxes, it's a random thing that gets sent out and it's just a clarifying form you have your account and fill it out you submit it you'll be fine you'll be fine don't worry okay so don't freak out if you get a letter about being um about being audited okay so uh yeah if you're expecting funding a loan of any type uh money coming in adjustments are required remember what i said you know you'll be asked for additional information but as soon as that gets put in things start moving a lot faster 
If this is in your workplace, remember what I said, there's going to be changes in the workplace. I'm seeing it. I'm feeling it. Either people are leaving, people are being let go, uh, people are, you know, being moved around. There will be sh big shifts in your uh, workplace. And so what I'm feeling here is that these adjustments that will be required, you might have to cover for a couple people, a couple of areas. Maybe you have to adjust your workload. Those types of things can be expected at this time either while you wait for a replacement or while things start, um, you know, the dust settles and then, you know, there's a clear indication of who's in charge of what and who's responsible for what, okay? Now, if you are an entrepreneur, what I'm hearing very clearly is that uh, if there was something that you were trying to test out, it it's not really giving you the results that you had hoped for or as big of a result as you had hoped for. I'm hearing very clearly that it's just something minor you'll have to tweak. It's not that big of a deal. It feels as though there is just a small step or something like you need to toggle something is how I'm seeing it. Like maybe in, you know, some sort of setup computer wise, program wise, there's just something that you missed. Go through it carefully make sure that you are expanding to the audience that you are hoping towards um you know expansion again it, this just feels like their little minor tweaks adjustments are required okay so keep that in mind this eclipse season this first week of april mercury retrograde new moon total solar eclipse i mean you name it these next few weeks are going to be intense have a great week and i will see you in next week's reading take care bye